hey guys welcome back to my video so today i'm going to be doing a little video about how i plan out my goals for the next year showing y'all my vision board for 2023 and then going over how i kind of break down my yearly goals into monthly goals so let's get right into it i'm not gonna show y'all everything on here duh i'll show y'all one so this one right here right this is my youtube like profile picture and i want to hit a thousand subscribers so you pretty much just get a board you print out some photos because i wanted my photos to be like specific to me and not just ones i'm like taking out from a magazine which a lot of people do um so yeah that's what i did so that is my this is actually my first manifesting vision board like physical one i made one last year but it was uh digital and i don't think it was bad it just wasn't given like actual vision board right so i have the vision board but i also i'm a big person on writing things down so last year i wrote down my goals for this year i like to write down all the things i want to accomplish and then i'll write down like the main five and then i'll go into like different categories right so we have wealth health love family career spirituality um, so that's what I'm going to be doing for this year. I like to write down monthly goals as well. So this was January 2022. So I write down no more than like five goals because a month is only like three, three, four weeks. So I don't like to overwhelm myself. So I write down like three to five goals. I write down, I'll write down a to-do list. So like one of the goals in January for me was to read a book. So my to-do would be like buy a book from Amazon, something as simple as that, um, just so you guys could like see the difference. And then I'll write down birthdays because, yeah. And then I'll give myself like a theme. So the theme of my January this year was do shit that makes you happy and don't sacrifice your inner peace to keep the peace around you. And that's very personal. So it's like more tangible. So it's not just a long list of goals and you're just feeling overwhelmed. That's what I like to do with my goals. And then I think I did this at the beginning of this year where I basically do like a champagne toast. I look through all my months and look at all the things I accomplished from my goals and my to-do list. And um, I'll get like a, a Google Docs or Google Slides and I'll basically just type down everything I accomplished throughout the months. So I can really see like a long list of like, damn, I did a lot this year. Like you can really accomplish a lot. And I also think it's important to recognize how far you've come. Cause I know, I know it's not only me who I like to make these big goals and I want to achieve them in like two months. And then right after I achieve them, I just go on to the next thing. Like I don't even celebrate. So I think it's very important to do a little champagne toast, what they call it. Uh, just recognizing all the things you've accomplished, recognizing how far you've come, and celebrating yourself because we all deserve to be celebrated. Another thing I want to do um, for 2023 is quarterly goals slash recaps. I saw this on Instagram not too long ago, actually. So basically, you know, you divide the, the year into quarters. So January, February, March is quarter one. April, May, June, quarter two, aka half of the year. Um, July, August, September, third quarter, October, November, December, fourth quarter. So basically, if you don't want to do every month, you can do quarters. So, okay, first quarter, I want to accomplish X, Y, and Z. And then at the end of that, you go through that list. Okay, what did I accomplish? What can I work on? What can I improve? And basically, go like that. And I'm, as y'all can see, I like to be very organized. And let me see, let me, let me, let me see. I had, a, I had me a little calendar. I get serious, bro. I get I get serious. I do. Y'all see. I'm going to make the year goals divided into the six different areas of my life. I'm going to do the quarterly goals and then monthly goals. And then within a month, I'll do like, okay, this week I want to achieve blah, blah, blah. Or this week I want to do this. And then I forgot to mention, <laughs> I also like to do... Um, this thing where like every day i will pretty much write out my day that's basically how i break down my goals into actual step-by-step -step plans like it's one thing to say get into shape 
okay, that's such a broad thing to say. What am I going to do each month, each week, each day to get into shape? Okay, well, monthly, run four times a week. Okay, weekly, I'm going to run Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, Monday comes, run a mile at such and such field. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like to break it down and really like put it into tangible step or a tangible plan. The app Notion is a lifesaver. If you don't like writing down your stuff like I do, get Notion. It's an app on the App Store, but also you can access it on your computer. So there's no excuse. Write down your goals, make a vision board, use the app Notion if you struggle with writing things down and then forgetting to look at it. That's why I have it right there so it's always in my face. And um, yeah, let's let's make 2023 that year. I never really say like, oh, this year is going to be my year, but I don't know. 2023 is feeling like 2023 just feels different. It feels personal now. Thank y'all for watching this video. And I will see y'all tomorrow for Christmas. And if you celebrate today, if you celebrate Christmas today, Merry Christmas Eve, Happy Hanukkah, whatever else is out there, Merry Christmas, Merry Chrysler, you know? And yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow in my next video. Peace.